So what is the best isekai here? I'm gonna have some hot takes that you guys are gonna disagree with. So first show that is out is Konosuba. I'm gonna be completely honest. If you find Konosuba funny, your humor has not developed at all since middle school. A lot of the jokes and comedy in Konosuba are just corny as hell. Second series out would be Eminence in Shadow. Don't get me wrong, as an anime, it's pretty entertaining, but there's like no story. There's like no deeper meaning at all. I tried reading some of the novel and my god was it the most bland thing I've ever read in my life. The third series that is out is Mashoku Tensei. As a novel, Mashoku Tensei is very fleshed out, but my god, does Rudius completely ruin everything. The fourth one out is Tensura. I read the light novel to volume 20, and Rimuru is one of the most one-dimensional characters I've ever seen. The next two that are out is Overlord and Tanya. So both of these, I don't really dislike anything about them. They're both decent. I've only watched the animes for them. And within those, they were pretty interesting. But the problem is it does not excel at anything. It's just overall good. So the third best isekai in my opinion would be T-Bait, the beginning after the end. As long as you ignore volumes one to five, which you can just read the manhwa for, Tibet is a solid 8 out of 10 with some peak moments that get it close to 9. Overall, in consistency of enjoyment, I definitely have Tibet as one of the most enjoyable novels. Arthur and the fights are just very, very entertaining. My second favorite isekai would be ReZero. ReZero and Subaru have some of the best peaks in fiction that I have ever seen. You guys are not ready for arc 6, that goes crazy. And of course, the best isekai, if you count it as an isekai, because it's only really an isekai to like chapter 1200, would be Lord of the Mysteries. Just everything about this novel is perfect. There's not a single category besides maybe pacing that Lord of the Mystery does not excel at. 